How old are you and what is the biggest problem in your life right now? 53. Just discovered prostate cancer and in work we have employee cooperation negotiations. They're getting rid of 20% of workers. But I have been in job interview to other place and it's promising and because prostate cancer is the most common cancer for men. They have studied it quite a lot and it's easy operation. So I'm quite optimistic. 56. I was paralyzed two years ago. I'm 31. Been dealing with appendix cancer for over a decade. I have an ostomy and just recently my kidneys failed so now I'm dealing tubes in my kidneys so they can regain their function. The kidneys failed because urine and bacteria was being backed up in the ureter due to the cancer distorting it. All my bodily functions are now done through external means and it's well it's a lot to process. 38. Trying to figure out how I'm supposed to keep going after the death of my youngest child. 51. Broke my back and I'm slowly losing the ability to walk due to nerve damage. 17. My mom died a few months ago. And ever since. I feel like I can't get the person I once was back. I can hardly deal with school on top of everything else going on in life. But dropping out isn't an option. I feel like I have almost no grip on my life anymore. Yet life keeps on going. I feel like I'm gonna drown while fighting to keep getting up in the morning. I am 46. The biggest problem in my life seems to be stagnation leading to boredom and apathy. I go to work. I eat. I sleep. I do it all over again. Here's the weekend. The weekend's gone. I go to work. I eat. I sleep. I do it all over again. 27. Our two-year-old was diagnosed with cancer last month. I'm 71, and I can jump as high as ever. I just can't stay up there as long. I'm 28 and I'm still my own biggest problem. 25. Money and car air issues, mental illness, lack of friends. I'm 29. Feel very emotionally stunted. I have friends who accept me for the reserved person I am. But I want to be more emotionally available to them so our relationships can feel more meaningful. 34. Um. I don't really know. Loneliness? Non-existent social skills? The super expensive repair on my car? I'd say everything is going rather good. 31. Financial debt, depression. Hey kids. I'm 68. Recently divorced after 40 years and I'm starting a new life and it's amazing. You can too. 39. Accepting that I'm getting older and not physically the same as I was in my 20s. 24. Getting a decent job. 23. No life, no friends, no love, nothing at all. 25. And I waste too much time on Reddit. 34. I'm about to graduate and start looking for a job that will certainly not pay anywhere near as good. Starting out at least. Than what I make now. It's a good problem to have I suppose. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.